The last two million years has seen Canada and the northern U.S. locked in an ice age, with glaciers continually advancing and retreating over the landscape. The Wisconsin glaciation was the last major ice advance which covered most of Canada and parts of the northern U.S. In some parts of Ontario, the ice was over two kilometers thick. As the glaciers began to retreat and melting progressed, the ice divided into two lobes, forming a distinct crack that ran along the future ridgeline of the Oak Ridge's moraine. Torrential flood channels developed beneath the melting ice, carrying sediments and dumping them into the crack. These formed the initial core of the moraine. The flood channels can be seen today as the well-defined valley systems of the Holland River, Black River, and Pefferla Brook. Initially, water also collected in the trough held in by the ice slopes and by the high land of the Niagara Escarpment. This water eventually drained away to the south and southwest along meltwater channels. As the ice finally pulled away, it left a giant accumulation of tills and stratified silt, sand and gravel in the former trough, forming a more or less continuous 160 kilometer long ridge from the Niagara Escarpment almost to the Trent River. Although the ice had left the vicinity of the Oak Ridge's moraine, it acted as a dam that prevented meltwaters from draining away. The result was two large glacial lakes, Lake Iroquois, where Ontario would be, and giant Lake Algonquin, whose shores far overspread the future Great Lakes, Huron, and Michigan. The ice sheets and giant glacial lakes finally shrank away, but the Oak Ridge's moraine remains as a prominent landform in southern Ontario, up to 200 meters thick and rising to over 300 meters above Lake Ontario. By 9,000 years ago, the ice sheets had retreated well to the north and some plants had returned to the area of the Oak Ridge's moraine. Small, hardy, tundra vegetation followed on the heels of the glacier, but this quickly gave way to coniferous forests occupied by the spruce, fir, and pine species that are currently found in the boreal forests of northern Ontario. 6,000 years ago, the Oak Ridge's moraine was already dominated by the towering oaks and maples that sheltered countless wildlife species, as well as the nomadic tribes of Ontario's first people. It was this landscape that greeted the first European settlers just over 400 years ago.